Okay, as if anybody who's seen any of my videos know, I'm a big fan of uh, Ruger single actions, particularly the uh, Ruger new model, and particularly mine, the um, uh, 45 long Colt 45 ACP convertible. So what I want to do is uh, give you guys a little tabletop uh, not review, maybe just an overview of the handgun. Alright. <clears throat> now I got it out of the holster. It's quite an elegant piece. The finish is really uh, deep blue. While well, it may not have the lustrous uh, reputation or finish and whatever of the uh, say something like the Colt New Frontier it is quite an attractive gun I do have to admit I'm not a big fan of the uh, the Bisley frame revolvers single action revolvers that Ruger makes and um, I do like their older new models where they all came with the rosewood grips before they started putting the, the hard black plastic or rubber or whatever they are um, anyway, uh, what differentiates this from the old single action army? Let me open the side gate. And as you can see, we are clear. Is with the single action army, there was there's like a three click model and a four click model. With this one, there's just two. There's no half cock safety like in the old single action armies. There's just full cock or not. Okay, and try to get a good view of it here. What I'm trying to show you is the uh, transfer bar mechanism that Ruger incorporates in their uh, new model Blackhawks, and this is what makes uh, it safe. To carry six rounds versus five where you have to um, in most like the Colt single action armies load load one skip one load four to where so the hammer is resting on uh, an empty cylinder to prevent an accidental discharge um, you can see this one does have adjustable sights and the seven and a half inch barrel. Of course, it comes in other variations. I think well, four and five eighth inch, or maybe five and a half, and then seven and a half. So, anyway, yeah, yeah. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick tabletop review of this because it's been in so many of my videos, and I don't know if anybody's. I don't think I've ever done a an up close version. Anyway, um, I'm sure everybody's seen westerns and stuff like that, how rounds are ejected. Line up the cylinder, the round you wish to eject, pull back on the plunger here, and that will kick out the empty shell casing. Alright, really very simple, very rugged and for me anyway very accurate okay peace out youtube